Hey friends, welcome back. The last video we have seen in detail about Cloudera and its uh, offerings. And also we have seen the projects from Apache. And today, this video, I would like to show you Cloudera CDH. So Cloudera CDH, which stands for Cloudera's distribution, including Apache Hadoop, is an open source Hadoop distribution by Cloudera. So it is designed to bring together the various components of Hadoop ecosystem to provide a unified, tested, and enterprise-ready platform. You can see that I have marked 11 components. Here you can see 11 components of the Cloudera CDH. It starts from HDFS, then MapReduce, then Apache Hive, Apache Peak, Apache Impala, Apache Solar, Apache Spark, Scoop, and Apache Flume. And we have Sandry and Yan. So it is designed to bring together the various components of Hadoop ecosystem to provide unified, tested, and enterprise study platform. So CDH includes not just Hadoop itself, but also a suite of related projects such as Apache Spark, Apache Hive, Apache HBase, and others, all integrated into a single platform. So you can see that, you know, all these projects are integrated into a single platform and we call it as Cloudera CDH. So what is the aim of it? The CDH aims to make it easier for enterprises to install, configure, and manage the Hadoop ecosystem and to integrate it with other existing data infrastructure. So Cloudera provides commercial support, services, and training for CDH. However, it is important to note that Cloudera has since moved away from CDH to the Cloudera Data Platform CDP. So now if you look, you don't see CDH, you can see CDP. So which is the new platform that combines the best of CDH and Hortonwork data platform, HDP, following the merger of Cloudera and Hortonworks. So CDP is designed to be the next generation data platform that can handle various data workloads from edge to AI. So when you start learning Cloudera CDH, remember that the CDH is a Hadoop distribution, but it is not only the Hadoop, it comes with a bunch of Apache projects, Apache programs, Apache softwares. Okay, so I will just define each of them. So HDFS, Hadoop Distributed File System, is a scalable, fault-tolerant, distributed storage system designed to store large files across multiple machines in a Hadoop cluster. The second important component is MapReduce is a programming model and processing technique for distributed computing that processes large data sets by parallelizing the task of mapping, processing and transforming data and reducing, aggregating the result. And thirdly we have Apache Hive is a data warehousing tool built on top of Hadoop providing a SQL-like interfaces for querying and managing large data set in a distributed storage environment. We have Apache PIC. It is a high-level platform for creating MapReduce programs used with Hadoop featuring a scripting language called PIC Latin that simplifies querying and analyzing large data sets. So we have HDFS, MapReduce, Apache Hive, Apache PIC and we have Impala. Apache Impala is an open source native analytics database for Hadoop that provides high performance, low latency SQL queries on Hadoop data stored in HDFS or HBase without requiring data movement or transformation. Then we have Adobe Solar. It's an open source enterprise search platform from the Apache Lucene project, providing powerful full text search, face setter search, distributed search and indexing functionality. Then we have Apache Spark. It is an open source distributed computing system that provides a fast and general purpose cluster computing framework for large scale data processing, 
with built-in modules for streaming, SQL, machine learning, and graph processing. Sentry is a security module for Hadoop that provides fine-grained role-based authorization to data and metadata stored on the Hadoop cluster. Then we have Yarn, is very interesting name, yet another resource negotiator. It's a resource management layer of Hadoop that allows for a multiple data processing engine to handle data stored in HDFS efficiently and is responsible for managing and scheduling resources across the cluster. Then we have Scoop. It's a tool designed to transfer data between Hadoop and relational database or mainframes, allowing users to import data to HDFS, HBase, or Hive and export data from Hadoop to external databases. And finally, we have Flume. It's a distributed, reliable, and available service for efficiently collecting, aggregating, and moving large amount of log data to the centralized data store like HDFS. So just to remember, under the Cloudera CDS, we have HDFS, we have MapReduce, we have Apache Hive, Apache Peak, Apache Mela, Apache Solar, Spark, Scoop, Flume, then Sentry, and Yan. So what I'm thinking like end of this uh, playlist, you will have a very good understanding about each and every components of CDH and through which you will be opening yourself to the big data technologies and platforms and which will really help you to place yourself in a better position in the data analytics world. So stay tuned. Wait for the next video. We will be focusing on HDFS. Hadoop distributed file system. Okay, bye. Thank you.